There you go. That's your trailer attached. First on our list of jobs to do today is to check on the sheep. Ready? That's strange. I can't see the sheep anywhere. Oh, come on. We'd better investigate. This is unlike them. I've never seen them all gather at this end of the field before. Maybe something has frightened them. Could be a stray dog. Let's check the hedges for any gaps. What was that? There's something there. I can hear it. Wait. I can see something. Oh, it's only a rabbit. Come on, let's look further up. Morning, Stan. Hi there, Mr. Turvey. I'm on the lookout for a stray dog. I can't say I've seen one and I've jogged the full length of the lane. About to do another lap, so I'll keep the old eyes peeled. What do you want a dog for? Thought you had a dog. What's his name? Her uh, thingy. Patch. Patch, that's it. Patch the dog. Uh, yes. But it's just that something has been frightening my sheep. Can't think what it could be except for a stray dog. Well, there is one new animal in the neighbourhood. It's quite something. Really? What? A llama. Mr Jones got a new llama. A llama? A llama. Big white thing. Looks like a camel. Well, not a camel, but you know. Hmm. I wonder why Mr Jones would want a llama. <laughs> Search me. Well, must run. Got to keep burning off the calories. See you. Come on, little red tractor. Let's finish checking these hedges. Ho, 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 ho. Wait till Stan sees the new addition to my farm. He will be so jealous. <laughs> Hello, Llama. It's only me, nice Mr. Jones. Now, how would Llama like a nice brushy washy then? There we go, nice Llama. Oops, a daisy. Just a little tangle. Maybe if I brush a little harder. There, there, nearly done. What did you do that for? Hello? Up here, Stumpy! What are you doing up there? My llama attacked me! What's one of them, then? Oh, a llama is one of those! Oh, I see! <laughs> you can't be scared of this fluffy little thing! <laughs> be careful, Stumpy! He could attack at any moment! Hello, little chap. Oh, you're a cute one, aren't you? <laughs> He seems very friendly to me. Could you perhaps part with the llama for long enough to get me down? I'll have to call Stan. I don't have a ladder, see? Oh, I am going to look like such a fool. Looks like a stray dog may have got through the hedge here. We'd better get this gap blocked up. Hello? Hi, Stumpy. Mr Jones? Stuck up a tree? I'll go fetch my ladder. We'll be right over. Come on, little red tractor. We have to go and rescue Mr Jones. Oh, thank you, Stan. Thank you, little red tractor. So this llama of yours attacked you? Yes. I was giving his coat a brush and he spat at me. From what I know, llamas don't usually do that. And there's more. He then kicked me into this tree. I was told he was tame, but I think he's wild. I suggest you wash him down first. It'll be a lot easier to groom him when his coat is wet. Well, that's a good point. I always find it easier to groom my hair when it's wet. I see. Well, thank you all for your help, but I am sure I'll be fine now. Well, we have to get back and fix a hedge in Middlefield. Let me know if you need anything else. Now then, nice llama, it seems we got off to a bad start. So, how about a nice little washy poo, hmm? Ah, oh, that water has come out far too fast. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, 
not again. <laughs> 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 We were so close! Nearly a whole trip around the block without a breakdown. I say, Walter! Rusty, you can speak. Not the car, you fool! Mr Jones? Up here! Oh, hi there. Oh, nice day for a bit of tree climbing. Quite. But I am not tree climbing. I am stuck. Could you help me get down? No ladder, I'm afraid. Tell you what, I'll give Stan a ring. Oh, no. Well, looky here. A llama. Hello, boy. You're a lovely-looking fella. Be careful. He's wild. Oh, you're not scared of a llama. He's so cute. Look at his little face. <laughs> Walter, how about getting me down? Uh, yeah, excuse me for a moment. I, I need to call Stan. Oh, you'll like him. They've already met. I hope that'll keep the sheep safe. The trouble is we can't be here all the time to keep an eye on them. Hello? Hello, Walter. Really? I see. We're on our way. You're not going to believe it, little red tractor. We have to go and rescue Mr Jones. Again! Come on, let's go! I was trying to dampen his coat before I groomed him, but the water came out too fast. Came out too fast? Yes, the hose, you see, it was set to jet wash. Why didn't you use a bucket? No wonder the poor thing was upset. Look, Stan, I think you're right. I, I, I really don't know how to look after him. Everything I do seems to upset him, and yet he loves everyone else. I may have an idea that helps us both. How about I take the llama? You would? What do you need a llama for, Stan? Something has been worrying my sheep. Llamas make great guard animals, so I could keep him in middle field to look after the flock. The question is, how to get him over there? I have a horse box, Stan. You could use that. Little Red Tractor, are you up for towing the llama over to middle field? <laughs> oh, Stan, thank you. If there's anything I can do... Well, actually, you could tell me and Rusty back to the garage. Oh, very well. Seems like you've found a new friend, little red tractor. <laughs> oh. Hi, Stumpy. Hello, Stan. I just popped by to see how the llama's settling in. He's doing fine. He seems to like his new home. The sheep absolutely love him. And little red tractor has made friends, too. Welcome to Gosling Farm. <laughs> Are you going to give him a name? Hmm, good idea. What about Larry? Oh, he likes that. <laughs> Welcome, Larry. Just thought I'd drop by and see how the little chap is settling in. As you can see, he's fine. Why not come and say hello? <clears throat> hello, Llama. His name's Larry. Uh, um... Hello, Larry. Oh, come on. He's not going to bite. <laughs> he hates me! <gasps> no! No, Kitty! There, there. You're OK. Where did Mr Jones go? I'm not sure. Can anyone help me down? <laughs> oh, dear. Looks like we're going to need the ladder again. <laughs> OK, little red tractor, ready for a trip over to Stumpy's? Just one more sack and we'll be off. Hi, Stan. Wait for us. Hello, you two. Hello, little red tractor. We've come to help you, Stan. You're too late, I'm afraid. I've got all the corn loaded aboard. Tell you what, though. You can help me and Little Red Tractor to take it to Stumpy's. Yeah! Hello, Mr Jones. Hi, Thomas. Hello. Hello, children. Your mother said I might find you here. Huh? You were looking for us? 
Yes, Thomas is staying with me for the weekend and he was looking for someone to play with. <laughs> Uncle Jasper's only got some rubbish car games on his computer. Oh, they're jolly good. Uh, not that I play them, of course. No, no, no. Um, we were going to go to some piece with Stan the Little Red Tractor. Perhaps you'd like to come too, Thomas. Cool, yes, please. If that's all right with you, of course. Yes, yes, of course. Cheerio. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Got that corn I promised you, Stumpy. And some helpers, too, I see. Uh, is Nipper OK, Stumpy? Nipper? Oh, he's as good as gold. I've just been balancing his wheels. Wish I had a quad bike. <laughs> You'll need to be a little bit older for one of them. When I was your age, I used to have a cart. Made it myself, I did. Well, with a little bit of help from me old dad. Did you crash that too, Stumpy? No. Well, just once or twice. Hmm. It can't be that hard to make a cart. Not if you've got a bit of know-how in that. How about we make one for you three? Yes! Wow. Brilliant! A cart! Wow! Weird! I got a set of wheels round the back you can have. Oh, this is going to be great! Terrific! Bugs me go first. Uncle Jasper's tool shed's full of bits of wood and nuts and bolts and stuff. Well, perhaps we can go and make it there. Uncle Jasper! Uncle Jasper! We're going to make a cart, Uncle Jasper! Oh. Whoops, sorry, Uncle Jasper. Well, well, not to worry. No harm done. Something the matter, Mr Jones? No, no, everything's fine. New shoes. Just a little worried that they might have got scuffed. <laughs> Brand new. Jolly expensive. <laughs> what are you doing back so soon? We're going to make a cart, Mr Jones. Can we use some of our stuff in your tool shed? Well, yes, I, I should um, think so. Yay! Let's get it! Come on, this way. I think they're a little bit excited. Cool, this is going to be the best cart ever. Then it'll go really fast. Have to make sure this is well oiled. Just look at that. Um, Stan, can you manage without me for a moment? Oh, yes, I expect so, Mr Jones. Just as well I didn't get it on my shoes. Hate to ruin them. Yes, right. Let's have the seat, you two. Well, what do you think? My word, Stan, that looks marvellous. We're going to call it the Beat Farm Flyer. And I'm going to have first go. Whoops. Sorry, Mr. Jones. Oh, look at what you've done. I've got oil all over my trousers. <laughs> no harm done. Shoes still OK, I'm happy to report. Jolly good. Perhaps we ought to take this somewhere else. Wonder if Walter would like to give it the once-over. Yeah! My go now! Take it easy down the hill now. Little Red Tractor and I'll go ahead to make sure the road's clear and safe. OK, Thomas? OK, Stan. Here goes. Gonna get me my mojo. I'm gonna make it work. Gonna get me my mojo. Uncle Walter? Yeah? What's a mojo? Well, yeah, it's a sort of, um... Well, it's like, well... Well, it, it, no, it's more like a kind of, uh, um... It's, um... Wow! Cool. But I haven't told you what it is yet. Not a mojo, but it's great. Whoa, I say. Hi, Stan. This got anything to do with you? I helped a bit. It was Stan's idea. Not bad, not bad at all. Hmm. But I think it's missing something. I was beginning to wonder where you'd got to, Stan. Is the car to succeed? It's more than that, Mr Jones. It's that's what I call a cart. Walter helped us make a few improvements. He certainly did. Now, who's ready for something to eat? Me! Me! Looks like it's time I took you back to the garage, Leo. Fancy a ride on Little Red Tractor? Yes, please. See you later. Bye, see you, Leo. Bye. 
<laughs> it really is rather splendid. Quite takes me back. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> I wonder. Vroom. <laughs> oh, dear. I can't stop. <laughs> How do you stop this thing? <laughs> Very, very muddy mud, and I've still got my new shoes on. Help! Hello! Help! 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 Afraid Uncle Jasper's not a very good cook. There's nothing worse than burnt fish fingers. There is. Burnt chips and burnt beans. Yeah, and... What? Where's our car? Mr Jones has gone too. Stan! The beach farm fly is gone! So's Uncle Jasper! He's gone too? <laughs> what is it, Stan? You don't think... <laughs> what? You don't think Mr Jones went for a ride on the beach farm flyer, do you? I hope not. He doesn't know how to drive it. It's not hard. I know, but if his cart's driving is anything like his cooking... Come on, let's go and see if we can find him. Looks like he came this way. There's a mud guard. There's the exhaust pipe. Oh. Well, if someone doesn't come soon, there's only one thing for it. I'm going to have to get my shoes dirty. What was that? Hello? It sounds like... Like... Little Red Tractor. Over here! Help! Hello. Did you hear that? Uncle Jasper, what happened? I, um, well, I, look, could you just get me out? Whoa! I think we're going to have to tow you out, Mr Jones. It's pretty muddy here. I know. You've made a right mess of the beach farm flyer, Uncle Jasper. I know. I'm sorry. And I'm sure we can fix it when I'm out of this bog. Here you go, Mr. Jones. Catch! OK, little red tractor. Steady as she goes. Sorry, Mr. Jones. There. You're as good as new again. Ah, fix up your cart again, eh? Well, this time, I can suggest you add some brakes. We had brakes last time. Did you? Then why did I end up in the mud? Perhaps you didn't use it? And if it hadn't been for Little Red Tractor, you might still be there, Uncle Jasper. <laughs> Very true. Thanks, Little Red Tractor, you saved my bacon. And my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Stumpy? Stumpy? Hi, Elsie. Is Stumpy around? Oh, 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 he's around all right. He's supposed to be working, but he's nipped off to his den. <laughs> Brian and Amy have just gone round to find him. Hi, Stumpy. Mm, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, you two. What a great den. What you doing here? Oh, this and that, you know. <laughs> I actually do most of my thinking in here. Sleeping more like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe we should make our own den. Yes! There are times when we all need a quiet place to ourselves. Stan! Stumpy's got a den! Has he now? Yeah! He does this mat in it. <laughs> he does not a lot in it, if you ask me. <laughs> We're going to make our own den. Will you and Little Red try to help us? No problem. I'll just get this corn unloaded. Well, it's um, it, it's the weather, you see. People love walking about the countryside in the sunny weather. Footpaths, Walter. Eh? If they stick to the footpaths, there's no problem. Footpaths for ramblers, my land for, well, for me. Well, why don't you put up a few signs, you know, keep out, that sort of thing. 
Signs are no use. A patrol should do it. I'll chase them off. Come on, Big Blue. Cheerio! Oh, oh, sure, yeah. How about here? Perfect place for a den, if you ask me. Uh, It's nice and sunny, but it's a bit... you know... Open. We want somewhere more hidden away, really. Oh, OK, then. We'll find somewhere else. How about there? Too shady. This any better? Sorry, too damp. Any good? Too sunny. Well, I can only think of one more place. Come on, you ramblers, show your faces. <sighs> hmm. No sign of them here, Big Blue. Let's try over on the other side. This is great! Really? This is perfect! Brilliant! <laughs> We're going to need rugs and cushions and things to make it more cosy. Why don't you ask around? I'm sure people will let you have a few things. OK, but we mustn't tell anyone what the things are for. Mustn't we? No, it's a secret den. We can keep a secret, can't we, little red tractor? <laughs> Rambler's Den. Seen any? Morning, Mr Jones. Can't say I have, no. On patrol. Can't be too careful, can you? And what have you two got in there? Nothing. Just a few things. We're throwing them away. Good for you. Out with the old, in with the new. That's what I always say. See you later. Out with the old? Good thing some of us don't think like that, isn't it, little red tractor? There you go. What are you going to do with it? It's a secret, Nicola. Oh, right. Sorry, no problem. Hello there. What's that old rug for, then? We're not to ask, Dad. It's a secret. A secret, eh? Well, I can keep a secret. Thanks for helping us. It's really good. We'll leave you to it, then. Be in the yard if you need us. Come on. Not a rambler to be seen, Big Blue. Must know we're looking for them. Come on, then. Time to start some proper work. <laughs> ah. Ah. Ramblers, Big Blue. Straight ahead, just as I thought. They do look a bit strange, though. We'd better warn Stan. Mr. Jones, do you think he spotted the den? I don't think so. He might have seen us, but he won't have seen the den. Whoa! <laughs> You've got ramblers, Stan. Ramblers? Ramblers, strange people running about in strange clothes. Cloaks, shawls, that kind of thing. Cloaks and shawls? Oh, yes, I know who you mean. You do? <laughs> Yes, there are um, some people up from the village. Badger watchers. They're looking for badger sets. Well, they're not going to find any the way they're carrying on, shrieking and hollering. Got any more crates, Dan? Oh, oh, hello, Mr Jones. Uh, you know, for throwing away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where all this rubbish comes from. Just when things were going so well. Hold on. What's that rubbish doing there? Someone's been dumping rubbish on Stan's land. Or what is the world coming to? Come on, Rusty. Better go tell Stan the bad news. I wouldn't let them on my land. They're pests trampling all over the crops. Here, Stan! You're not going to believe this. But someone's been dumping rubbish in the corner of Top Acre. Probably your badger people. Bad 
danger, people. That's terrible, Walter. Thanks for telling me. I've got to go over to Stumpy's in a minute. I'll take a look. While you're at it, you'd better make sure those badger people aren't still raving about up there. I'll do that too. See you. Phew. Not easy keeping something a secret round here. It won't be long, Elsie. Just go to tell Stan his flare is ready. Why he can't use a phone like normal people, I'll never know. Oh, <laughs> hello again. Nice place you got here. It was. Everyone all right? Oh, yes, thanks. <laughs> you do look silly, Stumpy. Honestly, this is supposed to be a secret den. <laughs> Not much of a secret. Oh, you know what you can do? What? Stop trying to keep it a secret and have a grand opening. I bet everyone will leave you alone after that. Really? Well, it worked for me. Elsie's never been to my den since the grand opening. Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> I'll run round and spread the word. And while you two put the den back to rights, Little Red Tractor and I will fetch some drinks and biscuits. What do you say? You're, You're on. <laughs> Nearly ready. Well, I hope you've got a door to your den. Keep those badger people out. <laughs> hmm. Good point, Mr Jones. Oh! What if they're in there already? Oh, no! Oh, they wouldn't dare go into the ha ha the danger! It's okay, Mr. Jones. It's me. Ah, uh, well, oh, 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 oh. Yes, of course, it's, it's you. Oh, no. Afraid I misled you earlier. I was trying to keep a secret. There are no badger watchers round here. It was Ryan and Amy all along. We were getting stuff for our den. Hmm. Oh, yes, 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 I knew that. Yes, I was in on the joke, too. Just playing along, you see. <laughs> there. Ready? Yep. We, we now, now declare, declare our secret den open! open. 